tech rabbit here. So we'll have a look at um, some breadboard transistors. So well, let's get into it. So I put together a small collection of typical transistors one might use on a breadboard. And I just wanted to give a sort of, so you can have a general overview. So um, here I have a collection of bi so-called bipolar um, transistors. And um, they're, yeah, if one oversimplifies the, the situation, then these are current controlled. So you put a current in and then you get a higher current out. Um, these here, these small ones here, they're on 2N3096 and 2N3904. I'll put the list of these on in the comments, I won't be going through all the um, details. Um, and why they are pairs is that usually they always come in pairs. And so one is a PNP type and one is an NPN type. And, and so the one gets a general general feeling for this, then um, these can withstand about 40 volts max, and um, it'll be 200 milliamps they can handle. And then we get the next size up, so then they get a little bit bigger. These are PD from the PD series, and um, these can handle up to 80 volts and um, one and a half amps. A little bit more powerful, and then you can jump up to one more size higher. And um, these are the tip series uh, again, PMP and NPN, and um, they can handle 100 volts uh, at 3 amps. Also, have the ability, of course, um, when you get higher up in power, they can take bursts, they can hi handle higher currents and bursts. And um, then we have a, a MOSFET. Um, transformer, and if one simplifies the logic of these, then they are voltage controlled. So voltage in, and then you can um, it can control a um, current. And um, this is also 100 volts, and the uh, amperage is 33 amps, so it can handle uh, quite a lot more current. <laughs> And then you have a, a specialized um, transistor, which isn't actually a transistor, it's a double transistor. So one controls the other. Uh, it's the RF, IRF series, they can do 100 volts and... Um, uh, oh, sorry, this can handle 50, 50 volts and uh, up to 5 amps. And it's got a very big gain because you have a one, one transistor, there's two transistors built in and one controls the other. And in addition to these, um, you also have um, like a very classical um, power transform transistor. And um, this is a 2N3055 NPN, and it can handle 60 volts and 15 amps. But then, of course, it needs some cooling, so you need to put this on an aluminium heatsink be able to handle that and uh, of course those other ones that had a hole in it then you um, also have um, like mini heat sinks for um, the, these here Let's see if I can get the pitch so all of these can be connected into that this kind of a heat sink. Uh, if you want to keep it really simple, uh, equivalent circuit, um, just for um, making it easy to remember how to how to check if a bipolar transistor is still working. So you can think that the um, this is a PNP equivalent circuit. So it has two diodes going in that direction, and then this is an NPN, so it goes in the opposite direction. So it's like. Yeah. So when you're measuring it, measuring it with a uh, um, conducting um, resistance measurement, then um, it looks like there's two diodes in it. But this, of course, is not a transistor. <laughs> yeah, when you're working with um, breadboard setup, then it's you know, quite. I find it quite useful to. Um, 
have um, access to complete sets of um, uh, transistors. Let's make it a bit bigger. So here we see, for example, this collection. And so this has a lot of these um, small, small power. Pretty much all the common um, um, types of the um, small power um, bipolar um, transistors. And this is another set that I, I have. Um, it's got um, the um, yeah, power transistors and um, uh, the MOSFETs and um, uh, the Darlington trans, uh, trans uh, uh, common Darlington types and um, MOSFETs and then uh, it, it also actually does have voltage regulation um, uh, regulation circuitry also or yeah, packages so uh, I would suggest you know if, if one wants to get prepared for doing um, for doing breadboard um, transistor circuitry then get a couple of these boxes uh, then you don't have to like go running after the individual types every time you need to build some so I hope you found this informative uh, please consider subscribing uh, hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it merch is available or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee the links are in the description all the funds will go towards developing the channel, getting more projects done, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.